Hello and welcome back to Hydra Set Info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lock apps with fingerprint on Samsung Galaxy A56. Let's begin! Logging your applications on the Samsung device is really simple. Let's say I want to lock my gallery, so whenever I open it, I have to input a password first in order to actually use it. In order to set it up, all you have to do is go to the settings, in here, scroll down a little until you find security and privacy. Here you click it, you scroll all the way down and go to more security settings. In here, we go to the secure folder. We have to continue and give away a bunch of permissions. And now our phone will start to create a secure folder. Secure folder is a really nice feature that I think should be available on, our, uh, on all the Samsung devices right now and lets you create secured copies of your applications. So not only it works as um, basically more privacy options, uh, you can set up your own uh, gallery, but also as a nice clone app with some easy 1234 password. Um, the amount of usage of the secure folder is pretty wide and it's really nice feature. Anyway, let's now set up uh, our little password. However, we are not going to be setting up a password. Instead, we're going to be setting up a fingerprint. Um, obviously, you will have to input your password anyway, just in case you cannot scan your finger. So I'm going to go with simple pattern and I'm going to draw a simple L shape. And that is my new Password. I'm not going to bother with customizing my lock screen notifications, but now we can set our pattern uh, as a screen lock. And not un only after we do that, we can add a fingerprint. Obviously, if you don't have your fingerprint registered, uh, you will have to go through the skin, just like through the screen, just like me. However, if you do already have a fingerprint, then you can't, like, you don't even have to worry about it. Uh, uh, setting up the fingerprint will automatically just set up your current fingerprint as a secure lock a pattern or a password and you will be able to uh, use it automatically. So now I'm going to quickly scan my finger, which can take a while. Uh, it depends on how can you, how smoothly can you scan your finger. I'm going to fix up the phone. Uh, we are not going to bother with adding a new another one. And now, uh, once again, we have to... Well, actually, we don't have to do anything. Um, the fingerprint is already added, though still we have to create a pattern. So I'm going to go with the L shape once again. And now we can press... We can choose if we want to allow it or don't allow. Uh, our Samsung account to be able to reset our password. I'm going to go with don't allow, but keep in mind that if you forget your lock, well, you can't really forget your uh, fingerprint, but if you ever forget your lock, uh, all your data will be lost and you won't be able to get to them. And now we are inside our secure folder. And as you can see, uh, the gallery is already here, obviously, if you, let's say, want to lock other applications with your fingerprint, you can do that by simply clicking the plus icon. And here you have a list of all your applications. So let's say I want to also uh, lock my TikTok behind, uh, my, uh, behind my password here. Now we can also only, uh, press and hold it and click add to home, add. And as you can see, the copy of gallery has now been added to the lock screen. Uh, it has a little lock screen icon here. And right here is our normal gallery. And whenever I click my normal gallery, you will see I have these photos. But whenever I do that here, we can see that uh, we have no photos. That is because this is a fresh new copy of the gallery. And whenever you like open your locked TikTok or open your locked Facebook or whatever, uh, these apps will also behave like they would be freshly installed. In order to actually move your files or move your, for example, images, all you need to do is go and press, let's say, this photo right here. 
and I'm going to go with uh, the more in the bottom right corner and as you can see here at the bottom we have move to secure folder so we simply click it and now let's go into our gallery and as you can see the one item has been indeed moved into our secure folder though there is one simple issue as you can see I don't have to input my password in order to get inside my gallery in order to change it we have to go back to our secure folder go to the three dots right here and go to the settings at the top we have auto lock secure folder as you can see currently it is set to whenever screen turns off meaning uh, if I keep my screen enabled I don't have to input my password each time I open the applications so if you want to have this effect we can click the very first option and now whenever we leave our application we would have to input our pattern uh, every time and of course we can also use our fingerprints let me quickly go back and double check if oh no 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 uh, let me quickly go back and double check if the fingerprint oh it is added okay so as you can see everything works just fine and yeah that's all f that's all for this video if you found it helpful please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching Thank you.